Hi friends, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about Spring Framework uh, and Thread. So how can I create a Java thread using Spring Framework? I'm going to demo that. Create a simple Java thread by extending thread and manage by Spring's container via component annotation. So if you see here, I have created a thread and I'm I'm creating a my thread class and uh, it's extending the thread normal way of creating a thread and here I have component annotation which is spring component annotation so that this this thread will be registered as a bean and the scope should be prototype and the bean scope should be prototype so that each request will return a new instance to run each individual thread we should not make it as a singleton because singleton once a thread is executed, started, it should never started again because you will be getting illegal thread thread shed exception. So it should be always prototype so that Spring Framework will give me new instance every time. And here I am loading this configuration file so that my beans will be registered. And I am trying to get the bean. Then I am trying to get four times the same bean that means four instance will be created by the spring framework because because my thread is the scope is prototype so four new instance will be created that's the correct way the recommended way because singleton types you should not create you should create prototype bean and I'm going to start all these threads and I want to just show you the configuration file. This is like equal to XML file where actually I have done this just to mention this component scan. So com dot dot spring thread this package will be scanned. This is the package and we have one bean registered using a component annotation. So when I load this config file it will scan this package and it will read all the component component annotation annotated classes and it will register this as a bean in the spring application context I'm going to run this now let's see how exactly it works I have started the application in debug mode yes so the bean is started creating this is done by the container so when I do a get bean it is creating four times I just want put a breakpoint here because you should know this is always a new instance since we mentioned here at the it has a prototype ok now I'm going to start all this this is like normal thread created by spring framework it will run this this thread will run for a few more minutes and it will stop so this is how we can we can create a thread using spring framework Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.